What's up, y'all? Thanks for tuning in to the first episode of Flying Ties with Bernie. Been a bunch of y'all out there asking for some tying videos. We figured we'd go ahead and give them a run for y'all. Now, I don't claim any of these patterns as my own. I ain't gonna get into none of that fancy gibberish with you. I'm simply gonna teach y'all how to tie some flies so they're gonna catch you some fish. First, I'm gonna give you a rundown on everything you're gonna need for today, a couple variations on what you can use, and then from there, we're gonna get right into tying. Hoogie hoogie. First things first, I'm tying on a size 10 wet fly mustard. Uh, I normally tie on a size 12, but for the sake of this video, I think y'all see them better. You can tie all the way up to a 14 if you really wanted to. Next, I got some sparkle braid here. Again, I'm gonna tie on green. You can do orange, blue, purple, whatever color you want, you name it. Next thing y'all are gonna need today is some deer tail. Uh, same thing, you can use any color you want. And then finally, some hard as haul head cement. Again, any head cement that you got is gonna do the trick. Don't matter too much. I got all my tie materials from DNR Sports. We'll put that link down below for all y'all. Here we go. From the beginning, We'll start threading that thing right down the middle of the hook. Just taking that tag in, putting her so I get a couple coils over the top of it. I'm gonna wrap that thing till about right when that hook starts to bend there, going towards the barb, and I'm gonna leave it. Cut that tag in right there. Get that song out of there. Ain't no need for that. Now I'm gonna tie this in. Y'all can't see it at all right now, I reckon. Skinner's going to fix that later. Uh-huh. You can go about getting a guess of how much you need. Start the back of the hook. We're going to tie her in. Leave a pretty good tag in there off the back. You'll use more than you think. And if you got too much, you can just trim her off at the end. Now to get started here, first couple coils are super light or you'll just spin that thing and fray it up and you ain't ever going to get nowhere on it. few wraps there just to be safe. Pulling this back now. I ain't going over the top of it. I'm just going to wrap that hook all the way up to the top with some extra wraps at the end. I'm going to uncoil it and you'll see what I mean by a second. Now at this point you could add some copper wire. Just something real simple like that in there. If you was going to put this on there, I ain't. But if you was going to, you would tie it in right now with this but you wouldn't coil it like I'm about to on here. You would just leave that end sticking up. That's something you're gonna do at the end. Hoogie dug. I'm gonna take that thing here. I'm just gonna start coiling that up. Uh-huh. I'm rolling over itself time and a half to two times. Making the body of the fly. Pretty much up to you how big you wanna make it. You could do just about anything. I'm tying that off. Get that out of there. Ain't no need for it. Uh -uh. All right, buddy, your fly is done. You can do all sorts of stuff from here. Okay, once again, if y'all put that copper wire in there, it should just be hanging off all on its own. If you're gonna put that in there, now's a good time. Wrap that up. Pinch it up with some pliers real good, and we'll continue on to the next step. Next, I'm gonna tie in that. You can't see it. No, and I know you can't. Skinner's stupid asshole there. He's gonna fix that again. I don't know how I reckon he is. Don't need a whole lot of this stuff. And as always, if you put in more than you need, you can always trim it. It's on there now, all flared up. Getting a little crazy on you. I'm just gonna pull that back, just like so. I don't want to get, you know, I don't want to start tying it off right there. That just don't look as good, I reckon. Just going to start crawling up there. Just like that. I like the way that looks. If you wanted to, you could tie in. Same idea. Just put it on here on the bottom instead of laying it on the top. You'll get a full 360. It'll fan all that same way. I'm gonna leave mine like this. Winter time. Smaller patterns normally. If you got a whip finish tool, good time for it. I don't ever use one. Ain't got no reason for it. Put a couple of those in there on my own though. Hooky dug. 
Artist Hall head cement. Slap it on there, get it sticky. Cut your extra thread. And there she is, folks. Finished fly. Huggy dug. And there's your finished product. Go ahead and get that thing out on the river. Let me know what y'all think. Well, buddies, thanks for watching. Let us know what you thought down below. If this is something y'all are enjoying, we're going to start a Fly Friday. We'll post one of these videos every week. Uh, make sure you check out the rest of our content. And if you haven't already, go ahead and like and subscribe down below. See you next time. Hoogoo.